how would you like to learn what stance to use on your forehand, especially the ones that are pulling you towards the sideline? My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 ATP player, and I'm so fortunate today because I've got one of my students, Becca, with us today. Go ahead, wave to the camera, Becca. Hey there. And she has a big forehand, so when you watch this video, you're gonna be like, whoa, she doesn't need to change anything. But Becca and I both know that if she wants to get to the next level, she's gotta be able to move more efficiently. And so I'm going to toss her a ball and give her a ball in this part of the court. And I want you to pay attention to her footwork, okay? Don't worry about her swing right now. Focus on her footwork and notice which foot she hits the ball off of, okay? So we're gonna get into this right now. Good, so notice her feet to the ball. Good, so she hit it off of her front foot. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong, in fact, there are many cases when the ball comes in the middle of the court, I always have my players, when the ball's in the strike zone, I want them on their front foot. So I'm actually gonna have Becca do that right now. She's just gonna stand in the middle, move up to the ball, and just step in. All day, she can do that. All right, she just has to get under the ball when she does it. There we go. She can step in there. The problem I see and we see some of the pros do this as well, so I'm not here to say it's wrong, I just think it could be more efficient. I'm seeing her come over like this and almost block her hips and step in, and it's causing some mishits on her forehand. She's pulling some balls cross court because when she pulls around, she's kind of shanking the ball sometimes, all right? So what I want her to do is hit this ball open stance. Tennis is a situational game, and we want to use the right stance in the right part of the court. So Becca, what I want you to do is when I toss this ball, you're only allowed two steps, okay? So the problem that I see with a lot of players out there is they think they need to take all these little steps to the ball. Those days are over. It's okay to make adjustment steps, but here's what I wanna see. You're gonna be here, and you're gonna go one, two, and then you can square up when you're done like that. So it's one, two, and then you square up. Got it, Becca? Yep. All right, here we go. Good, excellent, nice. A little bit under the ball, please. Excellent, now she picked it up fast because she's done this before, but honestly, Becca, you've probably been stepping into a lot of these forehands, so that's not totally natural for you right now, right? Right. Yeah, and so why would we wanna do that? Obviously, when the ball's a little bit wider, we definitely wanna open up the stance, but I believe it's just more efficient one of the problems Becca's running into right now is she's almost getting to the ball too early and then she doesn't know what to do when she's here. But if she times the ball, times her movement to the ball like she is, one, two, rip, right? Do it one more time. One, two, rip. That's what I want her to do. So let's go again. Make sure you get under the ball when you do this. Here we go. Excellent. Start a little bit wider. There we go. Perfect, nice and easy. It's like a walk in the park. Now if you focus on this footwork, you're gonna feel like you have more time. When you're turning and you're running, it's almost, a, it's more of a frantic feeling. This is like, oh, I've got all day to just play this game and it's so much more fun and I can see the court easier. So, if you enjoyed today's lesson, make sure that you subscribe, you're subscribed, you turn on your notifications and you give us a thumbs up. We value your input. We also have a free gift for you it's a free tennis course that includes lessons on the footwork, lessons on the forehand, doubles and single strategy, and your serve. That free tennis course is inside the Tennis Evolution app. You can click the link somewhere in this video or somewhere down below in the description. Thanks so much for your time today, and we'll see you at the next one.